in this problem, instead of one pair of parallel lines being crossed by a single transversal, we've got one pair of parallel lines being crossed by another pair of parallel lines. And at first, this might look a little more complicated and difficult, but really, it's not. We're going to use the same approach we use with other problems with transversals and parallel lines, where we use our knowledge of vertical angles and linear pairs to figure out the angles in the figure. And then what's true in one intersection, intersection is actually going to be true in all of these intersections. So down here, they've given us 64 degrees. So I can fill in 64 here because they're vertical angles. And then I can subtract from 180 to get the other side of this linear pair here. So let's see, that would be 116. And then this is a vertical angle, so I know that's 116. And then what's true here is also true up here because an N and M are parallel. And then what's true over here is going to be true over here because P and Q are parallel. So I can fill all that in over here, 64 and aha, 64 down here. We'll use this to make an equation to solve for Z. And this is 116, and this is 116. And then what's true here is also going to be true down here because M and N are parallel. So this is 64, 64, 116, and 116. So we've solved one part of this problem already. Y is 116. Let's uh, solve the other part. We've got, uh, we know this angle equals 64, and they're saying it equals 5Z minus 101. So we can set that up as an equation. So 5 times z minus 101 equals 64. To solve for z, we need to get rid of this 101. So let's add that to both sides. And we get 5z equals uh, 165. And we need to divide by 5. And let's see, what is that? Is that 33? Yeah, I think so. So z here equals 33. So that is a little bit of work with uh, solving some equations uh, in a figure of two sets of intersecting parallel lines.